that is the sound of swap rates falling. So as you can see, I'm in the middle of a rehearsal with our rock band, Rogue Monkey. You can check them out on Spotify right now. Anyway, it's really interesting to see what's happened today. So we had the inflation figures, which came out a lot lower than expected which was really, really good news. And it wasn't just the main rate of inflation, but core inflation, more importantly, services inflation that actually fell more than expected. And that has reversed almost all of the swap rate increases of the past few days. So mortgage lenders are now in yet another quandary as to whether they are going to keep the rates higher, which they've done slightly over the next last few days. And in the next few days, are we going to see those rates reduce again? The good part to note is that we seem to be back on track for a potential base rate reduction in November. And that will be really good news, potentially even a back-to-back -back rate decrease with another one in December. So it's interesting to see what we will watch swap rates over the next few days. For those of you thinking, oh, I'm gonna wait and see what to do. Personally, I wouldn't. We have a budget coming up. We don't know whether that budget is gonna be positive or negative in terms of its effect on the prevailing interest rate environment. So it's really, really hard to play the market. All those who waited before Liz Truss's mini budget lived to regret it. And that's all I'm going to say. It's going to be a very interesting time, but until then, rock on.